Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome. Welcome to the annual fundraising dinner at Valley Ranch Islamic Center. From our humble beginnings in March 2009, we have come a long way. We have come a long way as a center. We have come a long way as a community. We have been immensely blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have the backing of a great community. Alhamdulillah. I remember the first Juma that we prayed at our masjid and how nervous we were to make sure that things would go smoothly and if enough people will show up. Alhamdulillah, now we have more than 600 people at our Juma. We're humbled but proud of our accomplishments. We know we have outgrown our current center and need to move to a new facility as soon as we can. We believe we have built a solid foundation and are ready for the next step in the history of Valley Ranch Islamic Center. So what is so special about Valley Ranch Islamic Center? Well, for me, the meaning of a masjid, it has to go beyond just being a house of worship, just for people to come together and just make their salah and their ibadah and their regular ac religious activities and then just go. I want people and we want all to have people to come and consider the masjid as their second home. A place when they come, they don't feel guests, actually they feel, they feel that they belong over there. Without intruding, without uh, including the families, without the kids feeling comfortable coming, without the sisters and the brothers getting there and feeling comfortable in that space, we won't have that, that good feel of a family-oriented space or a family-oriented Islamic center and masjid. So this is what Valley Ranch is all about. We would like people to come and learn, we want them to come and feel and socialize, we want them to feel like they're, they're home, and when they come to the masjid, they don't miss going back again to their houses because masjid would feel for them, insha'Allah ta'ala, like being there, like being home. And I believe this is exactly how the masjid started at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is for that reason, uh, uh, the Valley Ranch Islamic Center, alhamdulillah, launched many, many activities, many, many programs, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, in order for us to, to achieve these goals. So there are a lot of, lot of uh, programs for the sisters, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, which is, I believe, is one of the most and, uh, and the strongest, as a matter of fact, uh, maybe women group in the community, in the area. Alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, they're very active. Uh, they're always, uh, mashallah, you know, introducing more programs, more activities. So they're making, they're bringing life, alhamdulillah, to the community. Also, people, they're always asking for knowledge. And alhamdulillah, we're providing so many sessions of knowledge and halaqat and programs. And one thing that we also wanted to, people to, to uh, uh, have at Valley Ranch is to make it open for everybody. Therefore, even for the audience who are not actually living in the Valley Ranch, can benefit, inshallah ta'ala, from the live feed that we always give, whether it's the khutbah, whether it's the khatira, or even the classes that we give and the lessons that we give. SubhanAllah, every time I travel around, people, they keep telling me, Zakum Allah khair, for, uh, uh, for the khatira series, I benefited so much from this and that, and SubhanAllah, as far as even across, actually, the oceans, people are watching and benefiting and making dua for the people of the Valley Ranch Islamic Center for making the service available for them. So it's a place for people to learn, a place for people to socialize, a place for people to come and, and, and have halal fun, inshallah ta'ala. So it's basically, it's a feeling of being home, inshallah. And that is the whole thing that we would like for people to come and to have when they ever come to the Valley Ranch Islamic Center. Alhamdulillah, the VRIC Women's Committee is very proud of the events, programs, and classes we've been able to bring to VRIC on a weekly, monthly, and annual basis. On Wednesdays, we offer quality kid care while moms can enjoy Sira classes in Arabi with Sister Suraya and Sister Hana, story time with Sister Saad for the toddlers and their moms, fiqh of hadith classes with our own Sheikh Yasir Burjas, tafsir juz amma also with Sheikh Yasir in English, Emotional healing using psychology, Quran and Hadith with Sister Hala Banani, clinical psychologist. And on Thursdays for our Urdu speaking sisters, we offer Ta'lim al-Quran classes by Al-Huda Institute. Um, also, there is um, kid care for those classes. On a monthly basis, we're very proud of our parenting workshops. And um, those are by Sheikh Yasser Burjaz on a variety of topics from young children to teenage years. Also, we've been um, very happy to uh, include Sheikh Omar Suleiman for monthly sessions for the women uh, about Teskiya called Evening Reflections monthly. And also we look forward to the monthly Women's Potluck in which we have a social gathering for sisters to get to know each other um, on a social level. Yearly, we always look forward to the VRIC Women's Cooking Contest called Taste of VRIC. 
and we look forward to that all year along with the mother-daughter tea and we've had um, a lot of very valuable events for the young girls which we call our jewels of VRIC and we've had events such as crush the crush what not to wear Muslim style and mirror image just recently so alhamdulillah we've been very blessed and everybody's special at VRIC and everybody knows your name I moved to Dallas about a year ago from California. Everyone thought that I was crazy to move from California to Dallas where they thought that there was nothing here. But actually I found something here that is so much better than anything I've ever had. When I lived in California, I really never had a sense of community. I would go to the massages and I never really felt like it was my place because I felt like the women didn't really have a voice, there wasn't much women's programs. But when I moved to Valley Ranch and I first started attending the Valley Ranch Islamic Center, I came to the Women's Wednesday class that they have every week and as soon as I walked in the masjid, I already felt like it was my home. Everyone made me feel so welcome. They even gave me a Valley Ranch Islamic Center mug, which I still use every day for my coffee. And it was just something so amazing. I felt like I've never had this before. And the women here, the women's committee, is always working so hard to make sure that we are all comfortable, we're all on the same page. The spirit here is amazing. And I just can't wait till my kids can also grow up in this masjid and they can have the same kind of sense of brotherhood and sisterhood that no other community I've ever seen had before. Our goal is to implement the prophetic model of a masjid. And what the Prophet ﷺ had going in Medina was special because anyone could come to the masjid and be blown away by how welcoming the community was, by how much of a, a truly a family it felt like, you know, the family feel that it had. And we pride ourselves on that, you know, in Valley Ranch, subhanAllah, that anyone comes to the masjid, you know, we have these frequent times where we shake each other's hands, where we get to know each other. If someone's new in the community, then, you know, Sheikh Yasser will announce, you know, uh, asking who that person is, what their name is, and so on and so forth. And it seems to be the case every single week. When I look at the Sunnah of the Prophet you find people that would come to the masjid, non-Muslims, and they would accept Islam by virtue of observing the masjid. The very famous story of Thumama, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was an enemy of the Prophet But when he was uh, tied in the masjid for three days, observing the Prophet and his companions, that was enough for him to want to accept Islam. And you know, I ask myself that all the time. If someone, if a non-Muslim was sitting in the masjid for three days and observing us as Muslims in our natural habitat, would it make them love Islam more or would it make them feel more averse to it? And you know, I think that when we talk about our community, when we talk about our masjid, it's a masjid that any person would want to come to and any person would feel a great sense of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so when you come to the masjid, you know, in the time of the Prophet sallallahu you are fulfilled in every way. You, the Sahaba could throw watermelon peels at each other in the masjid. They could, uh, you know, they had the Abyssinians that would do their war dances. Uh, yes, you had wrestling taking place in the masjid, so we'll have particular parts for that. Uh, you also could come there and you would find spiritual fulfillment and that's the, the primary cause of the masjid. You would come there and you would find that if you were in distress, someone would ask about you. And that's the beauty of the masjid of the Prophet ﷺ as well. If someone was missing for a day or two, the Prophet ﷺ noticed right away, he would ask about them. So he was noticing despite every, you know, despite all of the people being there. Even the woman that was cleaning the masjid, he noticed her missing after the very first day, not after a week or two. The Prophet ﷺ noticed that she was missing the very first day. And that's what we're trying to duplicate here, where you know, when you come to this masjid, you become part of a greater family, you become part of a greater ummah, obviously. And inshallah ta'ala, you know, this will be a masjid that will be a model for many masajid and that will be, you know, hopefully a torch for the Muslims here in North America.